my name is Aileen Arias, CEO and founder of Loyola Elementary. At Loyola, we strive always for excellence. We develop the whole person, what is called in Latin cura personalis, the whole child, mind, body, and spirit. Always striving for excellence is one of our most important models. Hello, my name is Amelia Mejuto. I've been here in Loyola for 17 years. Our values here at Loyola to love and to serve in everything we do. The first thing and the most important thing with children is to teach with love. When you teach with love, everything comes out the right way. Another of our values here at Loyola is magis. Magis means more. Magis means how to strive for excellence, the challenge to be better, the challenge to always do something else, we challenge our parents, we challenge our children, we challenge ourselves. What else can we do better for each other, for nature, for the world, for our relationships? That's what magis means. And cura personalis means care for the entire person, body, mind, and spirit. Attention for the needs of the other. This means excellence in everything we do. Hello. My name is Jaime Palacio, and I'm part of Loyola family. Ignatian pedagogy is not about learning and memorizing information. It's about reflecting upon what they are living and experiencing. Our school is not a place for students to spend their time. It's an instrument of God's love to create people to love and serve. Ignatian Pedagogy develops its process in five moments. The first is context. Context is the time to prepare the unit. It's the first moment of the process. The second moment is experience. In this moment, the students will open the unit. In this moment, they are going to live something new. It's the beginning of a story that experience moment. The third moment is reflection and means understanding and judging. The students will learn the appropriate concepts of the unit and they will be able to share their points of view about the different related topics. It is not about a simple opinion, it's about a new perspective. The fourth moment is action. The students will help or do something for others. It is a good action related to the unit. The last moment is evaluation. This is the time to evaluate what students have lived and learned. The center of our education is the person, the student. That's why we want to go deeper into Ignatian spirituality. Its principles and values will help us to create a better person and a better community. I'm pretty excited about this new year because we're going to work under the Ignatius pedagogy. Everybody knows that this is a religious school. So I'm going to work together with all the teachers, we're going to team up and we're going to integrate art and religious. Hi, my name is Andres Cantamil. I am a musician from Colombia. I play the clarinet and I am a member of the Miami Symphony Orchestra. I am also a teacher artist at Miami Music Project. This year, I will be in charge of the music department at Loyola School. I hope to have a wonderful year. See you soon. This year is going to be amazing. We're, we have a lot of projects with your kids. We're going to focus a lot in the orchestra program. And let's have fun. The drop off for preschool is between 8.39. Please be on time. The pickup for free school is between 2.45 and 3. Please don't be late. If you have children in both the preschool and elementary, remember to drop them off and pick them up in the schedule of the elementary students. The drop off for elementary is between 8.10 and 8.30. The pickup for elementary is between 310 and 330. Don't use cell phones and pickup area. 
Please make sure you have the car seat is the lower. Please make sure I'm safe. Our uniforms consist gray pants or shorts for boys and for girls, great skirts. Knee-high gray socks and completely black shoes for both. White shirt with logo and navy blue vest with logo. We also suggest a navy blue sweater in case we get cold. Please engrave our names into our vest and sweaters so we can easily find them if they are lost. The elementary students have a PE uniform. The uniform is a yellow shirt with the logo and long navy blue PE pants. On cold days, we can wear a long sleeve white shirt under a regular school shirt. Girls can wear gray tights. On rainy days, parents need to get down with an umbrella and pick their children up at the door. The first report card will be handed in person during our parent-teacher conferences. The rest of the report cards will be sent home in your child's binder or backpack. If you need to have a meeting with your teacher, please schedule it with her directly. This year, we will be implementing Class Dojo as the main form of communication for all of our classrooms. The elementary teachers also have their class emails that you can contact them directly. WhatsApp group chats are only for parents. And please do not reach out to the teachers directly through their personal phone numbers. Remember to always reach out either through the front desk or through Class Dojo. The Room Mom also helps support the teacher in anything they may need, whether it's setting up the classroom, decorating, or helping with materials. The school website is where you will find all of the official information from the school, such as our school calendar. You can also sign up for our forum so you can communicate with the teachers and receive additional information, such as the lunch menu. We also have the PTC, which stands for the Parent Teacher Committee, which helps us in fundraising, planning teacher appreciation activities, and other initiatives. Nuestra misión, o más que misión, nuestro propósito es realmente formar niños altamente capaces, no solamente en el área académica, no solamente en cuanto a su formación de lectoescritura o de cada uno de sus grados, sino realmente en sus procesos emocionales y sociales, que son herramientas vitales que van a necesitar a lo largo de su vida. Mi nombre es Ana María Feo, tengo 18 años en Estados Unidos y 16 años trabajando con Kids Villa, ahora Loyola. Yo he recibido amor, aceptación, oportunidades y Dios. Es una pedagogía fresca de un grupo muy comprometido con la transmisión de la sabiduría, que despierta creatividad, que utiliza las artes como uno de los métodos fundamentales de educación. La espiritualidad y la pedagogía ignaciana siempre ha sido muy mirada a volcarse en la música y en las artes como un medio de transmisión de conocimiento y que eh, realmente eh, va a ayudar en la transformación de la ciudad de Doral y de la zona sur de la Florida. Así que eh, el, los jesuitas americanos elaboraron hace fácilmente unos 20 años un documento sobre eh, colegios sin jesuitas con la pedagogía ignaciana. Y este es uno de los modelos del Colegio Loyola aquí en el Doral, que teniendo ayuda lejana de los jesuitas como asesores, como consejeros, son los laicos que han ido bebiendo y que seguirán, tienen que seguir progresando y eh, ejercitándose en la pedagogía ignaciana, ofreciendo este objetivo, crear hombres y mujeres influyentes en la sociedad.